as far as uh, this subject is concerned about wedding tourism because nowadays uh, whatever you do whatever you think that is linked and tagged with tourism whatever you think that is definitely is attached to with tourism connotations there is no doubt to that and wedding tourism is one which is in very very known as destination wedding you may call or it is even called marriage tourism so people are looking for new destinations to get married etymologically if you look at what is wedding tourism it is a destination where people choose another destination for a marriage ceremony to celebrate their marriage it is definitely not in their own locality a locality outside their own locality to solemnize their own marriage to take a different kind of experiences to to exhibit something and to gain something in that particular uh, destination for a for a memory so why did, why and what is why people are right now choosing it was if i remember rightly some of my colleagues are here they must definitely agree with me when i was there in 2007 in 2007 in itv berlin for the first time our honorable minister tourism has had on wales and we promote we, we promoted india as a wedding destination for the first time in itv berlin 2007 there was a huge campaign all over the you know the country and the destinations regarding promoting india as a wedding destination i remember that thing and just after that it was also a coincidence liz herle and you know mr arun nayar they came to rajasthan for their wedding and after that also because she was the british actress and so a great model so it was a headlines also in india after that there is no looking back it is a concept definitely to our place our uh, because you are late starter in everything because this is a very old concept and prevalent in other countries and most prominent were you know usa uk france italy mexico scandinavian countries this is very very common so also in our asian countries thailand other places but as far as india is concerned rajasthan is number 1 then second is goa and kerala and nowadays it has almost touched almost all the states and they are packaging their own product to sell wedding tourism as it stands wedding tourism as a, as a, as a theme <coughs> why this this particular concept cropped off why because if you look into the development of tourism other things also because social media played a great role yes no doubt number 2 is the the disposable income of the people and also the time it was very important to play a dominant role in deciding to undertake a, a travel and third thing is you know the transportations and communications became very easy and fourth fourth one is the cheaper air flight it connected to remote places i was there in so many places within asia and uh, other countries i have seen very unique places not not the not the mainstream cities other places also they are very beautiful people make holiday for different purposes as far as the volume of you know the volume of uh, you know the wedding destination the wedding tourism is concerned i'll come to that the challenges very shortly uh, just a little background of that there is a there is a report that the global wedding tourism destination wedding is around euro in 2023 was 30 billion us dollars which is they have projected by 2033 it will be around you know 253 billion us dollars you can see you can well imagine how quickly it is growing because i was also in 2007 and not in 2007 2011 when i was in paris i had gone to attend the cannes film festival and uh, from cannes monte carlo is only 45 minutes away from that particular place when i was traveling along the along with my family just started going to just started going a trip i saw a wedding is taking place and the bride and bride bridegroom they are moving on a elephant then it immediately struck to my mind they must be definitely indian out of curiosity i went and asked them and they told yes this is a big ceremony is taking place in monte carlo and they are from india so this is the kind of thing that is happening our people going abroad we have money a lot of people and this is the veracity this is the volume of things and the latest one is that you must have <coughs> uh, noticed it is not a destination wedding but the wedding that took place a week before ammani families you just you just imagine the volume of people the kind of people they they moved to jamnagar and the kind of things 
they had despaired about their you are the mute testimony to that as far as the challenges are, are concerned i'll come straight away to the topic right now there are so many challenges there are so many challenges naturally one is you know connectivity sometimes connectivity sometimes infrastructure de creation you know if you do not have ad adequate infrastructure in a particular destination in form of hotels in form of you know destination the wedding planners in 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 way in, in in the form of accessibility whatever so that become a very you know impediment one of the one of the most important factor which impedes the development of wedding tourism another is logistic you know logistic and the infrastructure i told you then the vendor management the person who is handling on behalf of the agency to organize the destination wedding has to have that kind of knowledge and expertise to deliver one to one in a, in a inclusive manner everything and another thing is you know there are a lot of legal formalities also to to overcome the the agencies those who are coming to organize they are overcoming so many legal constraints and that has to be addressed rightfully in a purpose which can uh, be amicably solved for 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 that then you know another factor is the the, the expectations of the, the clients they, they 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 want to spend money but they want a very thorough professional delivery of services so that has to be there you know if if whatever they are spending if they are not getting a return on that so they are not happy they are not satisfied so we have to have that kind of knowledge and expertise you know the professional agency to be hired so that they can deliver that kind of services at least then only to make it make it make it you know a successful one if one is you know one is coming to a particular destination if he is not happy sometimes he will go in a very bad note and that will magnify the negative publicity in such a fashion that he will never come then so many people also they will never come so that is the reason why nowadays social media plays a very vital role we should be very very careful and very apt in handling those medias and for that you have to be very clean and you have to be, you have to be very very professional you should not give any scope anywhere so that people will come out again on pounds on you so these are the some of the areas which has very, very mostly some of the challenges that i can say and as far as you know the solutions is concerns yes solutions we have to have we have to target our audience who are the people who are those you know people they they, they may be nris they may be pios they may be nros so these are the people to whom we can you know, target because they are coming frequently to india to celebrate their their, their marriage ceremony then another is you know that infrastructure development i told you third one is flight connectivity we have to have a seamless connectivity accessibility to all those destinations where we are going to have or promote that particular destination as a wedding destination and another factor is you know we have to keep a very very <coughs> good relationship with the with the stakeholders they always should be on board the stakeholders are the people those who are developing a destination because tourism is basically a government sector led and private sector driven industry government has a very less role in this particular things private private sector should be very very important but they should be very proactive yes of, of course there are so many issues that can be taken up by sitting across the table to do, to solve but at the end of the day that is that is very important Third, another point is simplified you know the law these legal procedures that has to be has to be simplified in a manner by which all those investors should be very 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 you know attracted they will be attracted another another thing that i believe that that should be there should be policy guidelines clear cut policy guidelines about how to organize a destination wedding in a particular destinations so these are the some of the key factors that solutions that you can think of and you know uh, we can think and we can deliver something there are of agencies yes this is a very disorganized sector tourism is very very disorganized in, in most way mostly because neither it is in the government uh, in the state government uh, domain pro properly nor in the central government it is in the concurrent list everybody knows so that is the reason why there is no act though no act as such which can implement or enforce something but yes we can definitely project india as a destination for wedding specifically on this topic as far as this topic is concerned in this fashion so i think this is the these are some points of solutions that can be taken care of so that uh, we can uh, see a better future for wedding tourism jodi apan ko amo video ti bhal lagila tebe amo channel ko like share aur subscribe karipa ko jama bhi bolantu nahi